In the world of online dating, the thrill of a new connection can quickly turn into something unsettling, as Sarah discovered with her Tinder match, James. At 28, Sarah, a lively school teacher with a passion for painting and traveling, was excited about meeting new people. When she matched with James, a 31-year-old tech consultant with a charismatic smile and an engaging profile, she felt hopeful that this could be the start of something special. However, what began as an intense romance soon spiraled into an overwhelming experience marked by possessiveness and control. The initial excitement and passion quickly gave way to a more troubling dynamic. James wasted no time in making his feelings known. He was direct and unreserved, leaving no room for ambiguity about his intentions. From their first conversation, he showered Sarah with compliments and declarations of admiration. His words were like a constant stream of affection, making her feel special and cherished. His messages were frequent and fervent, full of endearments and expressions of how perfect he thought she was. Every morning began with a sweet message and every night ended with a loving goodnight text. At first, Sarah was flattered by the attention. She felt like the center of his universe, basking in the glow of his constant adoration. James's enthusiastic gestures, surprising her with thoughtful gifts like her favorite books and flowers, seemed charming and romantic. Each gift was carefully chosen, reflecting his deep interest in her likes and dislikes. Their early dates were filled with intense affection. They held hands, shared passionate kisses, and spent hours talking about their dreams and aspirations. James planned elaborate outings from private picnics to surprise weekend getaways. He seemed to have a knack for creating magical moments that felt like scenes from a romance novel. Each time, Sarah was impressed by the effort and detail he put into making their time together special. The dinners were always beautifully set and the dates meticulously planned. The affection felt genuine and James's attentiveness was flattering. He seemed to anticipate her needs and desires, always ready to make her feel loved and appreciated. It was easy to get swept up in the whirlwind of emotions he created. The intensity of their connection was undeniable and Sarah found herself falling deeper into the romance, unaware of the storm that was brewing beneath the surface. However, as time passed, the initial excitement began to feel more like pressure. James's gestures, which had once seemed endearing, started to feel overwhelming. His constant messages, though initially sweet, became incessant. He would text her repeatedly throughout the day, expecting immediate responses. When Sarah needed some time to herself or couldn't reply right away, James would send anxious follow-up texts, demanding explanations for her silence. James's need for constant communication extended into their in-person interactions as well. He began to exhibit controlling behavior, insisting on knowing where Sarah was at all times. He would call or text her if she was out with friends, often questioning the people she was with and the activities she was doing. This possessiveness extended to her social media accounts, where he would comment frequently and sometimes even question her interactions with other men. The situation grew more suffocating. Sarah found herself feeling trapped between wanting to enjoy the relationship she had with James and needing space to breathe. She felt a constant pressure, like she was suffocating under the weight of his expectations. She tried to address her concerns with James, hoping he would understand her need for independence and personal space. She explained how important it was for her to have time for herself, to pursue her own interests and passions. However, each time she attempted to set boundaries to carve out a little space for herself, James would react with anger or hurt. He would lash out, making her feel like she was doing something wrong. He would accuse her of not valuing their relationship, of not being committed enough to their future together. His words cut deep, leaving her feeling conflicted and unsure of herself. His manipulative tactics made it increasingly difficult for Sarah to assert her own needs without feeling guilty or afraid of upsetting him. She felt isolated, as if she was losing herself in the relationship, unable to find a way out without causing more pain. The tipping point came when Sarah tried to take a weekend trip alone, a plan she had made before she met James. She had been looking forward to this trip for months. 
She needed the time to recharge and reflect, to find some peace and solitude away from the daily grind. But James's reaction was extreme. He couldn't understand why she needed to be alone. He insisted on coming along, saying it was unfair to leave him behind, claiming he couldn't bear to be apart from her. When Sarah refused standing her ground, James accused her of hiding something, of having ulterior motives, and threatened to end their relationship if she went without him. The emotional pressure became unbearable, the weight of his accusations and threats too much to handle, and Sarah realized that James's behavior was no longer romantic, but controlling and unhealthy. She saw clearly that his love was conditional, based on control rather than trust. Feeling trapped and emotionally exhausted, Sarah made the difficult decision to end the relationship. She knew that she needed to reclaim her independence and prioritize her own well-being. Breaking up with James was challenging, given his possessive nature, but she managed to do so with clear, firm boundaries. The process was emotionally draining, but Sarah understood that she needed to take a stand for herself. In the aftermath, Sarah took time to heal and reflect on her experience. She sought support from friends and family and engaged in self-care activities that had been neglected during her relationship. The ordeal taught her valuable lessons about recognizing the signs of controlling behavior and maintaining boundaries in relationships. Sarah realized the importance of mutual respect and space in any healthy relationship. For Sarah, the experience with James was a harsh lesson in the complexities of modern dating. It highlighted the difference between genuine affection and manipulative control. While the intense attention initially seemed flattering, it ultimately revealed a darker side of James's character. Sarah emerged from the experience with a deeper understanding of her own needs and a renewed commitment to finding relationships built on mutual respect and genuine connection. Navigating the world of online dating can be a roller coaster, filled with both delightful surprises and unexpected twists. For Emily, a 29 year old graphic designer with a love for hiking and indie films, life was a blend of creativity and adventure. She often found solace in the great outdoors, exploring new trails and immersing herself in the beauty of nature. When she wasn't hiking, she enjoyed watching indie films, appreciating the unique storytelling and artistic expression they offered. Her evenings were often spent texting friends, sharing her latest discoveries and experiences. Her Tinder experience was mostly uneventful until she matched with Tom, a 32-year-old software engineer whose profile seemed charming and straightforward. Tom's profile stood out among the rest. His bio was witty, and his photos exuded a sense of adventure and intellect. Emily was intrigued by his apparent intelligence and the shared interests they seemed to have. She felt a spark of excitement as she swiped right, hoping this match would be different from the others. Their initial conversations were pleasant, filled with engaging discussions about their favorite hiking trails and indie films. Emily found herself smiling at her phone screen, eagerly awaiting Tom's next message. They exchanged stories about their adventures and bonded over their mutual love for the outdoors. Emily was looking forward to their first date, feeling a sense of optimism she hadn't felt in a long time. However, what began as a promising evening quickly devolved into an unsettling and bizarre experience. As the night progressed, Emily noticed subtle red flags that made her feel increasingly uncomfortable. Tom's behavior was erratic and his conversation took unexpected turns that left her feeling uneasy. The cozy Italian restaurant, which she had been so excited about, now felt like a stage for an awkward and disconcerting encounter. Emily had been drawn to Tom's profile because of his apparent intelligence and shared interests. His photos showed him enjoying various outdoor activities and attending interesting events, which aligned well with her own interests. She had envisioned them hiking together, attending concerts and exploring new places, but the reality of their first date was far from what she had imagined. His photos showed him enjoying various outdoor activities and attending interesting events, which aligned well with her own interests. She had hoped that their shared passions would translate into a meaningful connection, but the evening's events left her questioning her initial impressions. Their text exchanges were filled with light banter and mutual curiosity, and Emily felt optimistic about their upcoming dinner date at a cozy Italian restaurant downtown. 
She had envisioned a night of laughter and engaging conversation, but instead she found herself navigating an awkward and unsettling situation. Despite the initial excitement, Emily left the date feeling disheartened and unsure about the future of her connection with Tom. From the outset, the date started off well. Tom was polite, engaging, and appeared to be someone who could be a good match for Emily. They chatted about their favorite books, movies, and travel experiences. The conversation flowed smoothly, and Emily was pleased with how easy it was to connect with him. However, the mood shifted when Tom abruptly changed the topic to discuss his views on various conspiracy theories. At first, Emily thought Tom was just sharing a quirky interest or indulging in some unconventional ideas. But as Tom began to elaborate, it became clear that his fascination with conspiracy theories went far beyond casual discussion. He launched into a tirade about government cover-ups, secret societies, and elaborate schemes that, according to him, manipulated public perception. His voice grew more intense as he described elaborate scenarios of global conspiracies, complete with detailed but dubious claims. Emily tried to steer the conversation back to safer ground, suggesting they talk about more light-hearted topics. However, Tom seemed increasingly fixated on his theories, dismissing her attempts to change the subject as naive or uninformed. His rants became more erratic, filled with increasingly outlandish assertions and a sense of urgency that made Emily uncomfortable. Each word he spoke seemed to carry a weight that pressed down on her, making her shift uneasily in her seat. She could feel the tension in the air, thick and suffocating as Tom's voice grew louder and more insistent. What had started as a curious divergence from their initial conversation turned into a full-blown monologue, with Tom presenting himself as a crusader against hidden truths. His eyes gleamed with a fervor that was almost unsettling and his gestures became more animated, as if he were trying to physically manifest his convictions. Emily watched, her discomfort growing with each passing second. The situation became more bizarre as Tom began to question Emily's own beliefs and attitudes, suggesting that her perspectives were part of a broader scheme of misinformation. He leaned in closer, his voice dropping to a conspiratorial whisper as if sharing a dark secret. Emily's mind raced, trying to keep up with the barrage of accusations and theories that Tom was throwing at her. His insistence that everyone was being misled, including her, made Emily feel defensive and anxious. She crossed her arms protectively, a subconscious barrier against the onslaught of Tom's words. Her heart pounded in her chest, and she could feel a cold sweat forming on her brow. The room seemed to close in around her, the walls pressing in as Tom's voice echoed in her ears. She felt trapped in a conversation that she could neither escape nor effectively counter, as Tom's behavior grew more unhinged. Every attempt she made to steer the conversation back to safer ground was met with resistance, and she found herself sinking deeper into a mire of confusion and fear. Emily's mind screamed for an exit, but there was none in sight. She was caught in the web of Tom's unraveling sanity, and all she could do was endure. As the evening wore on, Emily's discomfort escalated. She attempted to cut the date short by suggesting they get the check and leave, hoping to end the encounter gracefully. Tom, however, seemed oblivious to her distress. He continued his tirade, even suggesting that their dinner was part of a distraction from the real issues he believed were at stake. His obsession with his theories had completely overshadowed the date, leaving Emily feeling both trapped and unsettled. When they finally left the restaurant, Emily was relieved to be free of the intense and uncomfortable experience. She was exhausted, both emotionally and mentally, from the relentless barrage of conspiracy theories. Her initial excitement about the date had been completely overshadowed by Tom's erratic behavior and obsessive views. She couldn't help but feel that her evening had been hijacked by someone whose ideas were not only unconvincing, but also unsettling. In the days that followed, Emily reflected on the date with a mix of bewilderment and relief. She found herself replaying the conversations in her mind trying to understand what had gone wrong and what she could learn from the experience. She recognized that while Tom's interests were unusual, it was his inability to engage in a balanced, respectful conversation that had been the real issue. Emily realized that it wasn't just about having common interests, but about how those interests were communicated and shared. 
The experience was a reminder of the importance of mutual respect and open-mindedness in any interaction. She understood that a successful relationship required more than just shared hobbies. It needed a foundation of mutual respect and the ability to listen and respond thoughtfully. For Emily, the date with Tom highlighted the challenges of modern dating and the need for clear boundaries and mutual respect. She realized that setting boundaries was not just about protecting herself, but also about creating a space where both parties could feel comfortable and understood. It was a lesson in navigating conversations that take unexpected turns and maintaining composure when faced with unsettling behavior. Emily learned that staying calm and composed was crucial even when the conversation took an unexpected or uncomfortable direction. Emily emerged from the experience more aware of her own values and the importance of finding partners who shared not just interests, but also a balanced and respectful approach to communication. She felt a renewed sense of clarity about what she wanted in a relationship and the kind of person she hoped to find. This experience, though challenging, had ultimately strengthened her resolve and deepened her understanding of herself and her needs in a partner. In today's era of online dating, where swiping left or right can lead to a world of both excitement and disappointment, navigating relationships can be as challenging as it is thrilling. With the rise of dating apps, finding a potential partner has never been easier, yet it has also introduced new complexities and uncertainties. From the thrill of matching with someone new to the anxiety of waiting for a reply, the digital dating landscape is a roller coaster of emotions. Friends often share their dating app stories, some filled with joy and others with heartbreak, highlighting the unpredictable nature of online connections. As we delve into Alex's story, we'll explore the highs and lows of modern dating and the lessons learned from navigating this digital world. For Alex, a 30-year-old marketing professional with a love for indie films, Tinder had been an easygoing way to meet new people and potentially find a meaningful relationship. Alex's passion for indie films often led him to local film festivals and movie nights with friends. He was sociable and enjoyed meeting new people, making Tinder a natural extension of his social life. However, he was unprepared for how his ideal date would soon unravel into a story of betrayal and confusion. This unexpected turn of events left Alex questioning his choices and the true intentions of those he met online. Alex's connection with Jessica began like many others. Her profile was a well-crafted blend of humor and allure. Pictures of her enjoying weekend hikes, relaxing at stylish cafes, and attending vibrant music events. Her bio, which mixed playful banter with professional ambitions, intrigued Alex. They exchanged messages that felt effortless, sharing jokes and discussing their passions with ease. Their conversations soon moved to video calls, where they laughed and shared stories. They planned their first date with excitement, feeling a genuine connection. When they finally met, it felt like they had known each other for years. When they finally arranged to meet, Alex was optimistic. Their date at a charming French bistro seemed right out of a romantic movie. Candlelit tables, smooth background music, and a genuine connection that felt promising. Jessica was engaging and seemed sincerely interested, sharing stories about her travels and her career in a way that captivated Alex. The evening ended with plans to see each other again, and Alex left feeling hopeful about what might blossom between them. As Alex walked home, he couldn't help but replay the evening in his mind. He sent Jessica a goodnight text, and her quick, warm reply made him even more excited for their next meeting. That night, Alex went to bed with a smile, dreaming of what the future might hold. However, things quickly took a turn. After a few more outings, Alex noticed a change in Jessica's demeanor. She became increasingly aloof, her texts were slower in coming, and her availability seemed more unpredictable. At first, Alex chalked it up to her busy life, but as time went on, he grew more puzzled by the shift. While browsing a dating advice forum one night, Alex found himself lost in a sea of stories and advice. 
He had been feeling uneasy about his relationship with Jessica for a while, and he hoped to find some clarity. Alex stumbled upon a post that struck a nerve. It detailed someone's experience with a woman who had seemingly dated multiple men at the same time, creating confusion and hurt. The description of this woman's behavior was strikingly similar to Jessica's. Alex began to piece together what he had been experiencing. He noticed overlapping details, friends mentioning knowing Jessica, and odd coincidences that he had previously brushed off. Alex was shocked, but also felt a sense of clarity. The pieces finally fit together, and he realized the truth. Jessica was a serial dater, adept at juggling multiple relationships without genuine commitment. Feeling deceived, Alex decided to confront Jessica. Their conversation was intense and emotionally charged. Jessica initially dismissed Alex's claims, but as he presented his evidence, she admitted to her deceit. She explained that she was exploring different options to find the right person, but acknowledged that her actions were misleading. Her apologies were half-hearted, lacking the depth of genuine regret Alex had hoped for. Alex felt a mix of anger and sadness, realizing the depth of the betrayal. He took some time to process everything, reflecting on the relationship and what went wrong. Ultimately, Alex decided it was best to move on, seeking closure and a fresh start. The fallout left Alex grappling with feelings of anger and disillusionment. He found himself questioning not only his judgment, but also the authenticity of the connections he had made online. He felt betrayed not just by Jessica, but by the deceptive nature of online dating itself. Each notification on his phone became a reminder of the betrayal. The realization that he was seen as disposable was deeply hurtful. It made him question his self-worth and the value of the time and effort he had invested. What he had believed to be a special connection was now tainted by dishonesty and manipulation. In the weeks that followed, Alex took time to reflect. Journaling and nature walks became his solace. He re-evaluated his approach to dating and what he wanted from a relationship. Conversations with friends provided new perspectives. Alex focused on self-improvement, reconnecting with hobbies and strengthening his relationships with friends. He learned to approach dating with a healthier skepticism, balancing hope and caution. This journey made Alex stronger and more resilient. Jessica's actions highlighted the complexities of modern dating. In a world where connections are often made through screens and profiles, the line between genuine interest and superficial attraction can become blurred. While her behavior was disappointing, it also served as a valuable lesson in the importance of honesty and clear communication in any relationship. Misunderstandings and misrepresentations can easily lead to heartache, but they also offer opportunities for growth and learning. For Alex, the experience became a catalyst for personal growth and a renewed understanding of what he truly wanted in a partner. He began to reflect deeply on his own values and what he sought in a meaningful relationship. Although the sting of being misled lingered, it was tempered by a deeper self-awareness and a commitment to seeking relationships built on authenticity and respect. Alex found solace in journaling his thoughts and discussing his experiences with close friends, which helped him to heal and move forward with a clearer vision of love and partnership. 